Do you see points of light spread out into lines at night? Not everyone sees that. I don't. It's caused by having astigmatism in your eyes. Astigmatism means that your eyes bend light differently in different directions. I'll cover why astigmatism causes lights to be distorted like this, why this is worse at night, and how glasses and contacts for astigmatism address this. To understand astigmatism, first you need to understand how your eyes are supposed to work. Your eyes are supposed to take in light from far away and focus that down onto your retina on the back of your eye. Your retina is where you have all of your photo detectors, so it picks up the light and turns it into electrical signals that your brain can understand. However, if you wear glasses or contacts, you're probably nearsighted or farsighted. In both cases, the cornea on the front of your eye and the lens inside of that aren't focusing light properly. It's not going right onto the retina. So if you're nearsighted, it's bending the light too sharply, too strongly. So it's coming to a point of focus inside of the eye. So once that light reaches your retina, instead of it being focused to a nice point, it spreads out and that becomes blurry. Same thing if you're farsighted. Here, your eye is not bending the light sharply enough, so it's trying to focus the light past your retina, but it hits your retina before that. So the light there is again spread out and more blurry as opposed to being focused into a nice spot. However, 44% of people have astigmatism, meaning that the cornea on their front of their eye is shaped differently in different directions, maybe more like a football instead of a circle. With astigmatism, maybe the vertical direction of your eye focuses light just fine but then in the horizontal direction, you could be nearsighted or farsighted. But why would the effects of astigmatism be worse at night compared to during the day? Eyes with astigmatism have the errors we just talked about all of the time, but at night, your pupil dilates or expands to let in more light. Here's why that exaggerates existing problems. Now, at nighttime, that pupil has dilated, letting in more light compared to the daytime when the pupil is smaller. In both cases though, the light will be focused to the same point. So, if you have perfect vision, if you don't have astigmatism, it doesn't really matter. Regardless, the light will be focused right onto the retina where it should be in both cases. But now, let's imagine that you have astigmatism that causes you to be nearsighted in one direction. So, again, in both cases, the eyes focus the light to the exact same spot. But with the nearsighted eye, you'll see that there's a significant difference at what happens on the retina. Because at night, the pupil has dilated and expanded, the light is being focused more sharply. This cone of light has a bigger angle compared to during the day with the smaller pupil. So, because of that more shallow angle during the day, yes, the light spreads out past the point of focus, but at night it spreads out way more because of that sharper angle. So, that effect of things being blurred out actually happens all the time. It's just greatly exaggerated at nighttime because of the dilation of your pupils. If you were just nearsighted, so being nearsighted but not having the asymmetric effects of astigmatism, that blur would happen equally in all directions. So still messing with your vision, but if you have astigmatism, that blur is mainly in one direction. And that's why you see points of light at night spread out into lines. Both glasses and contacts for astigmatism correct for it differently by bending light differently in different directions. So if you have glasses for astigmatism, try looking at something through your lenses and then rotate your lenses. You'll see that there are pretty different effects depending on how those lenses are oriented. If you have a CYL or cylinder number in your eye prescription, that means that you have astigmatism. CYL numbers with a larger magnitude, whether they're positive or negative, both mean that you have a more severe amount of astigmatism, with smaller magnitudes meaning that you have less astigmatism. If points of light at night being spread out into lines is getting so distracting that it's dangerous, please go see your eye doctor. 
as there are many more nuances in the causes and treatments of this beyond just what I talked about in this video.